under of the under the office of the municipality mayor among others. Notwithstanding the explanation of the department heads and their rep representative on their corresponding budget, the undersigned were still adamant to approve the same as clearly they remain answered queries and most of the answer if not all the answer are as a as, as, as a consequence there too the committee members decided to manifest their condition approve and ask for additional documents further review as evidenced by committee report number 134 stating that they are very uh, stating that they be provided with the following to with list of job orders to ensure the JOs are hired in according to the joint circular number 2 series of 2020 of COA and DPM dated October 20, 2020, 2020. DILG opinion number 40 series of 2020. DILG opinion of 2001-05. DILG Opinion 2001-06 Memorandum Circular attesting the allowance of the local chief executive to disperse funds for payment of wages of job orders without need of sanggunian bayan authorization. Paguman anin, nalingkamot kita nga mag-negotiate sa mga item sa annual budget aron matagaan o patas nga budget ang mga barangay o maklaro ang mga double entries na internet subscription expenses o pamaagi sa pag-hire of JOs. Wala kami laing tumong kung dili matagaan o equal opportunity ang tanan. Ngayon ang ngayon lang. Kaya ang atong itoki, dili man ato ang personal na kwarta kung dili kwarta gyud sa katawhan na dapat mobalik sa katawhan o dili mo adto sa pipila lamang busa karon na decide nga humanon na gyud nato ning mga isyuha nga gibato laban sa ako o sa akong kauban o magsugod kita sa pagtuki sa atong annual budget 2023 after a series of consultation with the legal council i have decided to pursue legal remedies to request the validity of our Appropriation Ordinance Series of 2023. In this regard, I will not be approving supplemental budget plans and supplemental budget or any measure which involve disbursement of funds until issue on the status of the 2023 budget is resolved as it will run contrary to my stand that as of this moment, we are operating on the reenacted budget. May tungod sa pag-approve sa among aning SIP2 kay tungod na ay mga programa sa kalahi nga naay counterpart ang atong munisipyo nakabaton kita impormasyon nga ang counterpart hagbay ra nga na-download sa mga sa matag barangay nga gihatagan ni ining proyekto o counterpart para sa kalahi wala gyud na appeal aning SIP2 dugay na sab kini Nga mga, nga mga proyekto nga na pending wala pa ako ng na, nalingkod isip sa Guniang Bayan member. Sa katapusan, manawagan ko sa mga katawan sa inyong paguna-una ni ining mga isyo o ako mong pasali na kining tanan akong ibuhat para sa kaangayan o para sa hapsay na transparent na pang-goberno. Dagan kayong salamat. Anyone who would like to appeal the privilege on? Well, the President, I have to work. Yes, proceed. Well, Madam President, with regards to the 2023 annual budget of the municipality of Mount, it's a long time, Madam President, that I give a statement to all of us that this uh, annual budget 
I disagree that this is an opinion. You know why? Madam President, uh, we have all the documents. We have all the bases. We have all the recommendation or the ruling of all the national agencies. Madam President, with your respect to the honorable uh, Sahid, Madam President, uh, I would like to express myself that this argument, this uh, this uh, privilege speech of Honorable Sahid, it is not the legal way. Because, as I said a long time ago, that our annual budget, nobody can claim that this is an operating. Because we are we are guided by all the documents and the basis as well as the memorandum circular of the DIFJ. I would like to uh, read to the President the memorandum circular number 2022-004. And it was signed by our former secretary, Secretary Eduardo M. Anio, Secretary of the DILG. In memorandum circular address to all provincial governors, city mayors, municipal mayors, presiding officer, and member of the Sangoni and DILJ regional, provincial, and city directors, city and municipal local government operation officer, and other concerned. Subject, supplemental advisory to the DILJ memorandum circular number 2021-109 and additional guidance on local annual budget authorization. This is dated January 19, 2022. In order to prevent the situation wherein local government unit will operate in active budget and prostrate the needed development initiative and fiscal report. The department issued memorandum circular number 2021-109 to provide guidance and remind to all chief executive, vice mayor, and members of the Sangunian on the timely submission of an act, enactment of the LGO annual appropriation budget for fiscal year 2022. Of current frame have reached the department that there are local Sangunian which seeming sickly, capriciously, and arbitrarily use in the legislative authorization power under Section 319 of Act 7160 of Local Government Code of 1991. In the enact of the Local Government Unit, annual budget resulting to re-enacted budget in line with this and to bolster the call against the practice of reenacting the budget, the department strongly enjoined the local chief executive vice mayor and member of Sangkuriwan Bayan to 
ensure the timely passage of the local annual appropriation ordinance. The Sangunian are guided to local budget circular number 112 with budget operation manual for the local government unit 2016 edition. Issued by the Department of Budget and Management and the Budget Authorization piece as follows. So, Madam President, In in the last paragraph, Madam President, I have here a copy, and then again the department is uh, reminding to us all elected monitoring, all elected local officials should endeavor and work together to pass their appropriation ordinance on time and accordingly put to the welfare of their constituents and their topmost priority. Hence, that the IAG in the exercise of general supervision over provinces, highly organized cities, and independent component cities requires all elected officials, all elected local officials, who will fail to submit or in act appropriation ordinance within the aforementioned, timely to submit a written explanation under all cogent explanation, reasons, justification, or the non non beans and enacting in acting the annual appropriation ordinance. Furthermore. The exercise of the supervision of their component NGOs, the province will respect the component cities, municipalities, and the city and municipality with respect to barangay are like, likewise encouraged and enjoined to require this. All the ILG regional directors, provincial directors, city directors, city and municipal local government operation officers are hereby directed to post the widest dissemination of the memorandum circular. You are likewise instructed by the sub and submit a monthly report every 30th day of month starting this month of the status of compliance of the LTO to the, the IAG Memorandum Circular 2021-109 and this is Memorandum Circular signed again by the Secretary of the, the IAG Secretary Eduardo M. At the same time, Madam President, I have also a copy here. The Memorandum Circular uh, coming from the Department of Interior and Local Government, the ILG NAPOCOM, it's a piece on, this is the address. Memorandum Circular Bilang 2000, uh, bilang 2109. Oh. Nadiri, mga gobernador ng mga lalawigan, alkalde ng mga lungsod at munisipalidad ng punong barangay, mga vice gobernador kasapi ng sanggunian sa lahat ng antas ka, lahat ng dagwa, tagpanga siwang panrihun mga taga pagasiwat ng siwat ng mga wigan o pagdating o pagdating in section number three nine three one nine 
paragraph 4 ay nagsabi, ang kautusang paalalang ito ay nag-iialayon na matiyak na ang kinakailangang mga programa, proyekto at servisyo. Servisyo ng nakak nakakalaan para sa bayan ay kanilang matapasan. Ang pagkabigo na mapipasa ang lokal na budget sa panahong itinagda ng batas na hindi naayon sa makatwiran at at makatarungan dahilan ay makaapikto sa interes ng mga mamamayan ay maaring magsanhi ang paglunsad ng investigasyon at pagsampa ng kaukulang kasong administratibo at kriminal ayon sa rapat na provisyon sa local government court at iba pa ang mga batas. So, with that, Madam President, it is very clear nga ang atuag yung uh, obligasyon being an elective official <coughs> o hatag yung tao di yung ngayon ng servisyo. Dili sa pagbabak Oh, na klaro ng istorya. Katung gisulti ni Lora Bolsahe <clears throat> sa iyahang privilege speech. There is a time that you will answer one by one of the six uh, against the administration, against the budget. Padalhan mo ang supina. <coughs> because we are already filed it is action. Thank you, Madam President, and good morning. Anyone who would like to avail the privilege of? If not, let's proceed to the question on. Madam President. Yes, proceed. Uh, thank you. Hello. 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 Madam President, uh, Madam President, earlier I listened to the privileged speech of the Honorable Gentleman of Barangay and Islandia, Madam President, and I am puzzled with um, some of his statements, Madam President, um, considering that earlier he claimed that, um, he claimed, if I am not mistaken, that um, he is just uh, doing his function and responsibility as the Sangguni Ambaya. Uh, that is why um, they are insisting that we are under a reenacted budget. I have questions here, Madam President, and I hope that the um, Honorable Gentleman of Anislagan uh, is willing to answer these um, questions uh, in order for in order for his statements uh, to be clarified in this office body. So first is, um, the six of them, Madam President, the six of our colleagues in the Sangguniang Bayan are insisting that we are under a reenacted budget, Madam President. Now, as a Sangguniang Bayan member, Madam President, I would like to ask them, at least one positive result in the annual budget will be reenacted because they, were, they keep on insisting that we are under a reenacted budget. What is the positive impact, at least one, two, or three, positive impact of the benefits of having a reenacted budget for the people of Mako. Because if there is none, it means that we fail to realize our functions and duties and we should be ashamed of ourselves sitting here as a member of the Sangkunian. Second, Madam President, 
he mentioned earlier that there are projects that there are only few of the barangays who would benefit from the 20% development fund. Now, how can you provide parallelism of the statement if majority of the beneficiaries of the Kalahi seats are actually those barangays who are identified as those non-politically aligned with the local chief executive. Meaning, myriad or majority of the 14 barangays would benefit out from the 20% counterpart of the LGU for the Kalahi seats are actually barangays who are actually barangays who are not politically aligned with the municipal mayor. But the municipal mayor did not hesitate to sign the MOA in which we also authorize him. Second, it is part of their argument that there are only a few, few of the barangays who benefit from the 20% development fund and therefore the 20% the uh, appropriation by the president should be uh, reviewed. Now, is it the Sangunian who will identify the project under the 20% development fund or is it the Municipal Development Council? Because as of the moment, I believe it, our function or our power is only a recommendatory authority over the NDC. Lastly, Madam President, because I have prepared four questions, If they are unwilling, if they are unwilling to approve the supplemental budget, supplemental plan, and to declare the savings, are they willing to sponsor for a resolution to disengage with the Kalahi seats, considering that they are the one who are not in favor for the approval of the same? So, for the for the first question, Madam President. Any positive result of a reenacted budget? Thank you, Madam President. First question. Please answer on the side. The first question is there to you. Ma'am, what's the first question? Is there any positive uh, result if the annual budget is reenacted? Actually, it's not positive, diba? Una-una, i-review kayo nato na kay gusto na yung mga re-align nato based sa Uh, kanang among nakita ko ba nga angay di ba ha, kolegial mo kaya ka dire ipa-approve mo na sa toa so wala man sa mga uh, kanang propose siguro namo ba or wala man sa napaminaw siguro ang mga proposal namo kay so, mga ita sa kuan so mo na ikaduha wala jud dili jud sa positive no og marin up di sad namo na gusto ang amo alang na man tay mga Uh, unta nga ipaabot nga ma-realign unta lang pod nga ma murag dawaton pod ang mga kuan na to ba uh, suggestion ikaduha nga question ni Bobon sa to ah uh, Madam President I have a follow up question under the first question um we have uh, ingon ni honorable sahid po Madam President that um They have suggestions, actually they, are, they have recommendations as to the items which needs to be uh, amended or changed. Why is it that those um, items, those concerns were not raised during the committee hearing? Naadali ito mga department heads, they were present. As a matter of fact, actually that's correct, they have questions. But there was no dissenting opinion. As a matter of fact, there was no manifestation that it should be changed. Some items, ito, MOOA, yung ako radaw, katong para sa GO, it should have been raised during the committee hearing because that is the time in which that they were given, all of us were given equal, equal access, equal opportunity in order to question directly our department heads. So I'll ask during the second reading in which each one of us were given the privilege, the privilege to interpolate the sponsor on Robog Cesaricha. It is reflected in the journal, Madam President, that they did not give any manifestation that they are not in favor of the annual budget so that during that time we will never jeopardize the annual budget because as per their statement, Madam President, 
a reenacted budget is never is not beneficial to the people of Marco. Why did that this uh, concerns were not raised during the committee hearing? And as a matter of fact, all of us approved for the approval of this um, annual budget for second reading. And it's only during the third reading that majority of you uh, were against the ordinance, Madam President. Madam President, yes. uh, katong pag annual budget na to, so pagtubag, nga masuko man, di ba na kami i-raise question, di man takakuan, kaya masuko. O na kami, di namin gusto maglalis-lalis, kami wala sabtan, pag-raise na mong no, ipangutana, wala may yan agad chance po, manifest sa mong no, so inani na itabo, ani na lang, para klarong-klaro. Last, pidua kasesyon na to ni Agi, niyon man mo, kinsay mo ato korte, nga nung sige pa man taglalis ka ron, honorable Richard said, We will wait for the ombudsman to send us letter. Okay, you let. Sige, wala problema. Wala to na muna. Wala ta lang po ang supina ninyo kay umana man sa ni file. So, diha naman ta magtinubagay nga no ato pamani nga lison, umana man ta storyan eh. Di ba? We we giingon na namo ang among manifestation nga dili mi mo approve. So, may problema ana. Di ba? Tanang tanan ninyo ang dokumento ipakita sa korte. Ningon mo nga mag-file ako. Ah, di ko nga kakuhan kina sa buwan ako yung file, kaya dapat kita ang tanan mo file o kung sa budget ang budget na to approve, ah, approve budget o disapprove. Wala, ingon si Madam President, wala may mukuhan sa lima, wala may mukuhan sa unom, ni present ko sa kong sarili. Ako yung mga to court, naasa kong storya ka ganina. After series of consultation with the local, ah, legal council, I have decided to pursue legal remedies to question the validity of our appropriation ordinance. Oh, kana lang natin ikuhan. O sige, pada yun mong disperse niya. Okay, ang pagtuhon ninyo, okay man ang 2023. Sige. O may mong makita korte, sige, makita ka korte, wala yung problema. O kung sa inyong allegation sa mo, tubago na mo. Tubaga lang po ninyo allegation na mo sa inyo ha. So, kana lang Madam Chair, hindi na ako natubagon ang mga question niya. Gusto man sa korte makita, sa korte tayo niyo makita. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, actually, I, uh, regarding the second question of Honorable Side, who will be the one to sponsor regarding the disengagement of these 14 projects of the Kalahi seeds? Madam Chair, nga nung no, madis, 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 disengage, nga ang uban na, na download the money, wala mas ato ng side ito. The Kalahi seeds will be the one to answer that question, Honorable Sahil. Madam President. Yes. Uh, before that one, Madam President, uh, manifestation, Madam President. Yes, proceed. Um, so, it is clear earlier that the reenacted budget, as a matter of fact, is not beneficial to the people of Mako. Yes. Uh, so, with that, Madam President, just a manifestation that myriad of the questions um, regard, with regards to the privileged speech of Honorable Side were not answered, Madam President. Just a manifestation. Uh, some of your question I answered already, Honorable Sakai. O kanang gusto ni mo klaroon sa katawan, sa lungsod, sa mako, na muingon ka, na wala'y benefit ang tao, tinukod. Diba? Pili, kung ang benefit sa tao, kung rin akmed, ay problema na, ang kunan ko na. Ang kunan ko na. Kaya ang mga ipaglaban nila, ang fair one, nga matagan ang tanan. So, karoon, ang mga makinaingon, ka para may broadcast sa tanan tao, Nagipog nga na mo. Oh, sige, wala'y problema na. Oh, Kiangko na ko, ipog nga na mo na. Kaya wak may kasabot, kaya wak na bahin o tarong. Sa amo ang paglantaw. Thank you, Madam President. At least it is clear. So, any more? We like to avail the question card. So, if not, let's proceed to the... Reading of the calendar of business for the day. May I have a floor, Madam President? Yes. I move to dispense the reading of the calendar of business for the day. Seeking two thirds vote from my colleagues. Second. Because of the move and standard, please raise your right hand for the two thirds votes. And I've been affirmative, negative, that. The motion is approved. 
inyo nabati ang live coverage sa ato ang Papa Mitya TV kalabot sa controversial nga isyo nga adunay pipila ka mga legislators comprising unong kabuok ang nibabag o nahimu karon nga init o nagkainit pag yun tungod kay nahiskutan man nga ipaabot kini sa korte So dinhi nila takutob og uh, sangalan sa tuang mga sukin subscribers o mga viewers kini ang inyong papamidya at your service babay kanatong tanan